introduce to you our resource person for today. Sorry. Hi. She started to play Banduria at the age of five and already invited to perform in various hotels and some momentous cultural events all over the Philippines. At age nine, she was awarded Best Rondalia Player by the City School Division of Paranaque. At 10, she joined the Namsiya Solo Banduria competition and won first prize. A year after, she was awarded as a grand champion in Barangayan National Solo Instrument category, which aired over Philippine TV. During her early years as a Rondalia trainer and conductor, she, her, her group won first prize in Namsiya Children's Rondalia competition and Nayong Pilipinos Banduria Octavina Guitara at Iba Pa National Rondalia competition where she was named as best conductor respectively. As a head Rondalia head, uh, as a Rondalia head trainer, she conducted the following workshops. Banduria Solo Workshop, International Rondalia Festival in Tagum City, Regional Trainers Upgrading on Rondalia Music Workshop in Tagum City, Regional Trainers Training in Rondalia in Soralia, South Cotabato, Pasinaya Rondalia Lecture Demo at the Cultural Center of the Philippines, Sanay Guro in Baguio City, Master Class in Rondalia Music at UP Los Baños, and CCP Russian Rondalia Workshop at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. As a Banduria soloist, she represented the country in the Asian Traditional Ensemble and Asian Traditional Orchestra in Seoul and Gwangju, South Korea, the 21st ASEAN Regional Festival for Arts and Culture in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, Asian Games Welcome Dinner Show and APE Concert in Incheon, South Korea, and ASEAN Commemorative Summit Welcome Dinner in Busan, South Korea. She's also a core member and soloist of the renowned Rondalia group, the Celso Espera Rondalia. She performed with the group in the third International Music Festival in Krasnoyarsk, Russia, uh, 65th anniversary of the Embassy of the Philippines in Rome, Italy, India International Center Experience Festival of Arts in New Delhi, India, and the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between the Republic of the Philippines, the Islamic uh, Republic of Iran in Tehran, Iran, and 45th National Day Celebration in United Arab Emirates, and the CER outreach program held all over the country. She is currently the musical director of uh, Sidaya Randalia, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts Employees Randalia, and the University of the Philippines Randalia an artist and resource person of Cultural Center of the Philippines Training Music Division and Music Programs, a faculty member, senior lecturer in the Music Education Department, College of Music, University of the Philippines, and educator and chair, National Music Competitions for Young Artists, Rondalia category in Solo Rondalia category. Ladies and gentlemen, our resource speaker for today, Professor Elaine Juliet Espel. Uh, what are the common mistakes that beginners make in practicing their instruments? Okay, so uh, magandang question yan. Actually, madami, pero um, sa, sa mga napapansin ko lang sa mga estudyante, uh, ito lang na yung sasabihin ko. First of all, not following the basic playing techniques, yung mga tinuturuan natin, o yung habang tayo nag- nag-aaral, what do I mean? Uh, ipig sabihin ko, pag tinuruan tayo ng ganitong paghawak, dapat ganito ang paghawak. Kasi tayo, ang tendency natin, kung ano yung komportable tayo, yun ang gagawin natin. Halimbawa, sabihin, kailangan naka, uh, yung kamay mo, parang sa piano, di ba, kailangan nakaround. Pero, pag, uh, ano, nahirapan tayo, o tumatalsik yung kamay, yun ang ginagawa natin. So, if, yun ang isang mistake ng mga beginners. Hindi sinusunod yung talagang yung tamang basic na ititungro. Hinahanap nila yung, yung kung saan sila komportable. E pag, pag ganun, hindi mo susundin, magiging habits mo na yun. Pag nagtagal, hindi ka na makokorek at saka magiging hamper pa yun sa mga dadating na mga di ba, may pesa kang uh, gagamitin. In the long run, uh, to make the long story short, hindi hindi makakatulong yon So, yun. Uh, isa yon sa not following. Um, okay, number two. Playing everything fast. Lahat ng tugtog mabilis. Yan ang tendency ng beginner. Gusto lagi mabilis. Akala mo may humahabol. Ganon. 
akala nila, uh, may thinking sila pag mabilis ka, magaling ka. No, that's not true. So, pag, lalo na pag beginner ka, take your time. Um, learn to walk muna before running. So, yun, isa, isa sa mga mali ng beginner. So, maka, matututo sila ng tutog. Bibilisan ka agad, hindi pa naman master. So, uh, it's not a good habit also. Beginning Banduria player wanting to play solo, what progression of pieces would you recommend learning? Uh, specific pieces ba ito? Uh, what progression oh. of pieces would you recommend learning? Uh-huh. Actually, yung um, halong promotion, yung um, the book that um, uh, my father wrote, yung Espejo Rondari Method, may mga ano doon eh, uh, sample piece na pwedeng um, sa beginner, yung progression. Kasi wala talaga tayong ano eh, not unless na pipili ka ng mga simple piece kasi arrange mo for solo, panduria, kasi yun ang gagawin mo sa estudyante, yun ang papatugtog mo. Pero yung iba, ang ginagawa nila, kasi most of our soloists naman ang galing sa group, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. So pipili lang tayo ng mga soloists. Yung iba, ang ginagawa nila, yung mga uh, existing repertoire nila, yung, that, um, yung alam na nila, gagawin nila for solo banduria. So, paano ito gagawin? Gagawin nyo ito. So, halimbawa, isang tugtog, the banduria uh, player will play all the melodic line, including sa oktabina. Hindi mo tutugtugin yung yung uh, part mo na parang nagsasagot-sagot ka lang and then the melodic line nasa oktabina. Lahat yung tutugtugin mo. Pipiliin mo yung line ng, ng melody So pwede na yun yung sa ano sa progression of pieces. Halimbawa, ano ba yung mga example natin common? Halimbawa para luman for beginner yan, di ba? Tutugtugin mo lahat yun, yung melodic line noon. Halimbawa lang yun eh. So pwede yun kung wala kang uh, pyesa na yun ang nirerecommend ko, yun ang gagawin niyo. Tapos meron kayong mas mataas na level na pyesa sa group. Yun din yung tugtugin niya, a solo performer. Tutugtugin niya lahat din yun from the beginning to the end. Wala yung, halimba kasi di ba may pyesa tayong titigil ang bandura. Hindi mo titigil. Kukunin mo yung part ng octabina. Halimba, octabina na solo. Kukunin mo yun. Gitar ang nagsolo, kukunin mo yun. Lahat, ikaw ang gagawa. Kasi solo ka nga eh. You will not depend on the other. So, ganun ang masasuggest ko. Yung, na pwede yung gamitin. Yun yung marirecommend ko. Kung walang materials na Uh, mga attitude or mga kumbaga sa ano eh mga practice piece yung mga short lang mga rot so kailangan bang sa pyesa sa solo ng dalay instruments na tutugtugin sa ng siya ay mabibilis yeah well um i-rephrase ko yung talong okay. hindi mabibilis kailangan may mabilis yun yun siguro hindi So, ang sagot ko dyan ay hindi kailangan mabibilis ang ang mga pyesa. Pero kailangan may mabilis kang pyesa na tutugtugin. Kasi, isa ng siya, ganito yun, uh, minsan inire-require tatlong repertoire. Isang choice piece o dalawang choice piece tapos isang contest piece. So, ang kailangan gawin mo doon, magkaroon ka ng variety. So, hindi ka... Ka- pag tumugtog ka ng puro mabagal naman, uh, hindi mapapakita yung skills mo o yung level mo o yung paano mo execute yung difficulty. So, kailangan, meron ka din pyesa mabilis. Pero hindi lahat mabilis. Pwede ka rin pumili ng pyesa sa choice piece mo na mabagal. Iko-consider din yun. Kasi hindi naman, I mean, uh, tinitingnan din ng mga judges yung execution mo sa mabagal. It's also a very difficult skills, tumutug na mabagal. In fact, mas madam, mahirap nang tumutug na mabagal eh. Kaya sa mabilis. In, yung um, musicality some, mo. Uh, oh. Yes. So, nakikita so, yung music, musicality. Yes. Kasi sa mabilis, ano lang, pattern lang yan. Bilis, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Para ka lang, ano, robotic na tumutug. Pero sa mabagal, paano may execute yun? Yung phrasing nun, yung dynamics nun, eh, kitang-kita, mabagal na yung tutug mo. So, malaking considerasyon din yun pag na-execute mo lang uh, maayos. So, hindi talaga laging mabilis. So, may mabilis lang kasi, yun nga, kagaya sa ko, tinitingnan yung skills kung how you execute it o kung nasa ka level. Pero sa contest piece naman, usually naman magkakasama yun eh. 
may part mabagal, may part mabilis. So, what are the techniques and tip- tips to become a better solo performer in Rondalia? Nabanggit na ni Ma'am yung techniques, siguro tips na lang. Uh, tips. Um, number one is, kung if you are a solo performer, do not depend sa mga co-members mo. <laughs> Alibawa, Alibawa, hindi mo alam yung tuktog. Siyempre, pag absent yung isa, ikaw na lang matitira. Kailangan na uh, may mastery ka ng lahat ng tuktog. Kasi pag uh, ganun, uh, and also pag nagsasolo ka, uh, para sa akin, um, marami kasi tayong member, pero hindi lahat pwede maging soloist. Uh, may mga considerate consideration tayo dapat isipin sa mga bata o sa mga player. Unang-una, uh, confident, tumutog, at saka uh, willing siyang mag-solo. Meron kasi, magagaling, pero ayaw nila. May ganong mga members tayo. So, to become a better solo performer, uh, perform solo. <laughs> Pag may in- nag-invite sa'yo, sige, yung doon ka madidevelop as soloist eh. Uh, hindi yung lagi kang tumutugtog with the group. Also, um, it, yun nga, yung mga techniques na tinuro, i-develop mo lahat yun. Yung, um, pumili ka ng repertoire na required um, slow uh, movement, fast movement, tapos may mga iba-ibang execution ng picking um, stroke para ano man ang hingin sa pyesa, you can perform it well. Tapos, uh, try to join the competition. So, the category. Ayun, maka, ma-enhance din kayo. Hindi naman porkit uh, sumali tayo, tapos natalo tayo, hindi tayo magaling. Hindi, kasi training ground din yun eh, for uh, solo performance. How to train a solo banduria player? Kung may group kayo, uh, if you have... Um, members, ma-determine nyo naman yung may potential soloist. Uh, but make sure na may mga consideration kasi yan, kahit magaling yung bata, you have to consider the attitude. Uh, kung may passion ba siya, may hilig ba siya. Also, kung bata pa siya, the parents, are they willing uh, their child to be trained as a solo performer, as a solo player? So, yung mga ganyan kaya i-consider natin. Tapos, yun nga, um, kailangan uh, patient din yung bata and willing to listen to the teacher and will undergo parang mas ano yun, yung training niya. Mas uh, mabigat ang training niya compared to the other group. So, Meron din naman, kung wala naman sa grupo, kung gusto lang talaga ng tumugto, lahat naman may potential eh. Basta nandun lang yung, yun yung sinasabi nila, kung hanggang kailan uh, may enjoy ng bata yung practices, or kung uh, willing siya na mag-andag sa mahihirap na pyesa, na yun nga, kagaya ng pagkitremolo pa lang, very tiring. So, ganun. Pero kung maraming bata na magaling, so you can... Ang suggestion ko lang din sa mga grupo na magte-train ng solo instrumentalist, huwag lang isa. Uh, give them a chance. Kahit hindi masyado magaling. Kasi you'll, you'll never know as they develop and uh, as the training goes. But maaring yung akala mo magaling, mas magaling pala yung isa. So... Halos lahat i-train nyo for uh, being a solo a instrumental. Chance. Oo. Tapos, can you imagine kung magaling silang lahat? E di ang galing ng grupo mo. Di ba? <laughs> At saka mawala man yung isang, hindi makapatutog na yung sakit. It's alright. Um. Mm-hmm.